Hey guys, what's up? We are back. So we're coming to the end. These bad boys are actually going to be fitted tomorrow, so happy days. So today, we're going to be getting on with this. So for those of you who don't know what this is, this is the LED profile. So it's the plastered in um, profile where you put in color changing or you know you don't have to put color changing but that's what's going in here so we are today setting out the profiles and we're going to show you exactly how we go about doing that so if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the videos and yeah we shall introduce you to how we go about it so we are going to be doing this i'm going to quickly show you because jack's just going to try and wire in these lights for the minute so it can, might be a bit dark in here so we've already done this side okay so if you can see that so we've got the uh, profile in so what you do with that it also comes pre with the foams because you see that foam there because that is what sits inside the channel so when the lads plaster it all they can easily just pull all that that foam out it's nice and clean they haven't got to worry about it so that is what we're going to show you how to do and how we go about it so jack's just sorting out the lights at the minute because we're just second fixing uh, the rest of these lights and we'll get these ones on so it'll be a little bit nicer for us to work in and for you guys at home to watch it we've transferred our line across now so we've got a nice level line as you can see from the old green beam all the way through okay so the back of the profiles is actually like 30 mil for this one because it's the color changing because it's got rgbw in it um so what we've done is done a 35 mil uh, line all the way through so we've i don't know whether you can see that very well but essentially we've drawn on on here because uh, it's going to have the profile is going to run all the way around and match the um, the whole shape of obviously the gable end. Okay, so we've cocked up the top line, so we've done one a bit too too high. So ignore that. Please apologise for that. So these actually the lower set. So as it comes through from here all the way round, and then it drops into the centre of that. And then through so the next process for for me basically or jack uh, more than likely jack is we're going to use the oscillator now okay so we're going to oscillate all that out all the way through and completely make that channel so it gives us a little bit of wiggle room in there now normally like on this side when we did that we could use the chop saw okay because it's an 18 degree pitch roof on here um, so obviously we've done done all those in, but because it's actually making um, obviously the full triangle this side, the, the chop saw won't go to that angle. So we've had to use the a thin blade uh, angle grinder and then file it because you want to try and keep the. I know it's like a, you don't want to be falling on that. Put it that way. You you need to try and keep um, a nice crisp edge. And I think that's the only way of doing it really for us is, is obviously just is obviously then filing those end, ends up making sure it's nice and sharp. So next job for us is to get all that uh, chased out. So we'll get on with that. And then once that's in, we'll show you um, how we go about obviously mounting it all. Um, the good thing about it is that it's designed to take the depth of the plasterboard. So these are all 12 and a half mil plasterboards. So that's what it is. So once you've fixed it on, so let me just show you on this one. So once you've fixed it up on here, so we've cut out the plasterboard on this one and then you fix it back in. There's, there's all buttons and stuff down here because it's all been brought out. But you're actually then replacing and strengthening that plaster plasterboard back up. And that's basically the gist of it on that side. Um, so we'll get on with this one. And then I'll show you how we get then the power into it after that. But we'll set you up on time lapse and we'll get all that cut out.
Right, better give you an update, okay? So, as you can see, that bit's sorted. Right, now, let me tell you why. I've not filmed anymore. Tell you what, we'll go outside, shall we? I'll explain what's happened. So, not that this really matters too much to you guys, and I'm sure the video that you're watching, you'll be thinking, I'd rather not, don't really care about that, mate. Gonna be fair. Now, Jack has been trying to sort his passport out. Now he's due to go on holiday tomorrow. Still not had his passport. Um, so he's been trying for months and months and months to get it sorted, this and the other. And to be perfectly honest with you, they said to him, you need to go down to Peterborough. So it's not like Jack's just done it on purpose. And I've said to him, look, just, just go, mate. Just go and get it sorted. You don't want to miss your holiday. You know, if you get a chance to get it sorted, just, just go and do it. So. I've been mega stressed. I don't know what's up with me at the minute. I'm just stupid stressed. And I know people go, oh, just take your time, take some time off this, that, and the other. I can't. I can't take too much time. I'm too busy. I've got loads to do. Um, so that's why I just wanted to. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through the job, okay? Rather than show you, I'm going to tell you exactly how I've done it. Because it's, yeah, I've been stressed and it's really hard work on your own doing this. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to explain. So, let me sort my life out and I'll be back with you in two seconds. So the the profile itself, okay, so to get it like the way it is, all right, so what I've used is I've found out obviously my centre worked obviously back from there. Now I know this roof is an 18 degree uh, pitch on the roof. So that's fantastic because I can cut my um, 18 degree uh, angles on that with with the little chop saw outside now I we didn't want to buy load spend a massive amount of money and I don't think you need to either on a huge chop saw so they, this is literally the cheapest saw you can buy that comes with a metal blade so that's what I've been using to that do that the only problem is with that is that the angles at this end which are down at this end are way too tight. You can't do it with that. So I'm gonna have a pack to use the grinder. So then it's been a lot of, anyone knows who uses a grinder for cutting things. It's not that precise and you want to be as precise as you as you possibly can. So what I've had to do is, is cut it and then obviously just file it and work away at it. And that's why it took so long. It's been just really, really hard work on my own. Um, and that's not the same, as obviously you've already seen that Jack cut all the, obviously the actual uh, shape of the gable end out, which is fantastic. So it's not like Jack hasn't done anything, but I really need him to go and sort this out because if he gets a chance to go on holiday, then, you know, surely the lad deserves that. Um, so what it is, okay, so the profile, so let me try and set you up somewhere. So I'll try and set you up on here, please hold. So, the profile, okay? So, this is a, I'll use this one rather than cut my own pieces. So, this one is the aluminium profile, okay? So, this one is 30 mil, and that will take the RGVW, which is what we're gonna be using in here. So now, I've already done the first fix on here, so I've already got the cable up to this end and also at the far end, because it's both sides of, of the gables here. Um, and that's running back to a control module, which is actually in the kitchen just around here, because it's all going to be on a wireless remote, which is what we're going to show you in another video. Um, so this, so once you know your angles, now looking at it, this has been really hard work now. And obviously once it's all done, this will be, I hope for the bloody life of me, that this will look absolutely fantastic. So that's what we're aiming for. So with that so you cut that in so i'll do a 35 mil chase uh if not to be fair 40 mil probably be better looking at it now um so chase that round so i've just used the profiles to find that all out use my laser level which is actually on the wall which is this bad boy uh to give me my level line all the way through so obviously i've got 140 all the way around from the perimeters all the way around so once you've cut all that out, okay, and you've marked it all out with all your angles and things like that, this side, I'll show you in a second, was so much easier than that. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can do so many different things. So you can go up and across the ceilings and all sorts of stuff. Also, really cool geometric shapes, which is, I think, what is 
really what it's designed for. Um, they also do different profiles as well, so you can have like lighting under stairs and like coving lights to make cinema rooms, all that sort of stuff. So it is really cool. So you've cut that in, okay? So you use your plasterboard screws then to fix it on up and down, which is what, again, I'll show you all these things in a second. So once you've done that and you've got your cable in, they actually supply you with that, which is the foam. So that foam there is what you push into your profile, like so. And with that being in there, that means that you can plaster straight up to the edge of the profile. And just before it's gone, so you've gone, done your first coat, done your second coat, and it's just before it goes off completely, you pull that out and it clean, leaves that, all the inside of your track nice and clean. There's no muck and stuff in there, which is that's gonna be the key. Because obviously when you're, you're putting your uh, ribbon light, LED tape, you know, that sort of thing inside. Now we've gone for a, a high end uh, ribbon where you've got the LED chips actually a lot closer together. So it's like a seamless, which is what we, we want to achieve on this. And then once that's done, get rid of that. So that's now mounted up. You've got your LED tape in because we're gonna have to solder that and get that in. And then you've got your diffusers. Okay, they all come in two meter lengths, all this. So it's all two meter lengths, okay? So once that's in and it's all plastered nice and neat, it's just a case of pushing it in. So with, with that being pushed in, that is, will take away anything else that you can see. All you will literally see is just that. So I personally think it's gonna absolutely look awesome. Now the company that I've used have been really, really great. I'll put, I'll put a link in the description below um, to them. It's not sponsored by them whatsoever. First time I've used them. There's actually another company which is 10 minutes away from where I'm working, where this site is, and they've been so much hard work and I never got a price back or anything. I won't name and shame because I know people will go, oh, name and shame, I won't do that. Um, but I tried to sort out a price and it took, you know, months and I'm still not, I'm still waiting for that price. I rang this company up um, and they literally Five minutes, had an email with all the price. Another 10 minutes later, I'd ordered everything. So fantastic service um, from them. Like I say, I'll put the link in, in the description below. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna give you a closer look now of the finished article on this one. Today's video is sponsored by Tradeify. Um, for those of you who don't know what Tradeify is, it's a job management software. Uh, you can use it on your iPad, your phone, your PC. Um, and once you've set yourselves up, it will save so many hours, not minutes, hours, doing your quotes, estimating, invoicing, things like that. There's a 14 day free trial, uh, which the link's in the description below. Um, after that, if you are really, really stuck by it, and I don't know why you wouldn't be, to be fair, there's a promo code, if you put in GHAWK50, you'll get 50% off for the next three months. We personally use it, we've been using it for about a year and a half now ourselves, and it has been an absolute game changer in running the business. So go and check them out, link's in, in the description below, and uh, yeah, Tradeify, give them, a, give them a look. Okay, so with the plasterboard screws, you see so you've got your top and bottom here, so you make sure you fit those in because then that holds those boards both ways. Now, obviously with the foam and stuff, so just to pull that out. So that is basically it. So then you keep your joints as tight as you can on there. So see, we have made a little readjustment on that one. So you tuck all that in and then that's ready for the lads to plaster. And then that gives you all the way down there. And then that's up and over that way and then down and then obviously for the same thing as what we've achieved on that side so bifolds are going in tomorrow so that's going to be a huge transformation so like i say the video <laughs> the video hasn't gone exactly the way i wanted it to go um but that being said i do like to keep the the channel as real as possible um I don't see the point in in trying to jazz th things up too much. I've had, if you follow me on Instagram, like I say, I'll put the, the link below. 
oh, I've just had such a rough week um, on um, everything that is basically coming to sort out appliances of wrong and all sorts of stuff um, so I'm faulty and you know and I've made a couple of mistakes myself um, so yeah so I just want to be, be <laughs> honest and real so obviously hopefully you've enjoyed the video and if you have don't forget to give us a thumbs up uh, if you haven't subscribed then why not think about it you know links in the corners uh, and give it a whirl so thanks for watching and we shall see you next time Thank you.